Hello guys and welcome back to my Legend United career mode. Normally I would have had it obviously recorded live and stuff like that, but I did make the mistake last episode of not recording my mic. Uh, midway through this you'll see that I pause the game and I uh, do start doing live commentary, but up until then I'll, I'll just discuss obviously what's happening in the game and all that good stuff. Obviously we're here with the lineups at the moment, we've just come off of that brick wall of Merseyside rubbish, Allison who made the most ridiculous saves you'll ever see ever, like he was an outstanding keeper, you can't even doubt it, deny it. Man of the match, you know, football game after all, and he's, he's just left everything on the field. So, yeah. So, this is against West Ham. This game was um, a pretty close game. It was a, you know, hard game. West Ham are a really hard team. They're a good side ever since David Moyes has taken over. You know, they've been in European spots um, challenging, especially last season. We're just, we're just sticking with the same lineup. We've got Harrison, Rodrigo, and Rafinha up front with Bamford in front of them. Uh, with the, you know, we like I said, we haven't really made that many changes to the side. We are planning on doing it once we get to the transfer window. Um, maybe a bit more defensive changes than offensive because offensively, I think we're doing quite well. Um, if you ask me, but I think maybe getting one player in who is a bit of a danger would would be someone who's good because I do find that I don't really have depth on the bench. But this is the West Ham lineup. Uh, you know, they've got four at the back with a standard. Uh, this guy with the afro, he was causing problems. He's really annoying. And then obviously Said Ben Rama and. Mikel Antonio, honestly, just annoying players, but really good players, nevertheless. And, um, yeah, so let's get straight into the footage here. We have uh, Masuaku down on the, the left side, passing it to Noble. Noble has got the ball back to Masuaku, Masuaku to Noble. Noble passing it to <laughs> Kral. This guy was really annoying. Ball through to Antonio. Strike does a terrible tackle, which I don't know why I did. And then it just goes over the bar, so we're looking to get away with that one. That one really should have been a goal, um, but luckily we got away with it. And we boot the ball down the field um, to Rodrigo. They head it back and we, we get possession. Phillips wins the ball. Ball down the line to Rafinha. You love it when Rafinha's got the ball. One on one down the side. But unfortunately this time Masuaku tackles him. Sends it back to the centre. And Vlasic and West Ham are on a counter attack. And Vlasic is running down the wing. He gets past Lorente. Passes it to Mikel Antonio. Antonio passes it in. And Ben Rama and Melier. I think this is one of the lucky saves where it just bounces off of his arms. But luckily we got away with it. But then Noble... Down to Ben Rama again. Ben Rama's moving around the edge of the box, and Melia makes a little error here, which did did make my heart drop for a little bit. But luckily, we got away with it. And as you can see here, we're Furpa running on the left side, passes the ball to Harrison. Harrison obviously is a bit agile, good feet. Does a couple step overs, sees the overlapping run from Furpo. Down to Furpo, he sees uh, Rafinha, but doesn't do anything with it. Harrison here, passes it to Rodrigo. Rodrigo turn and shoot. The fantastic tackle by West Ham. You can see how solid the defence is already, guys. Here, Ben Rama's on the attack here, though. And obviously, Ben Rama, when he's attacking, it's very dangerous. The through ball was there, but he's taking his time. Goes out to Kral, to Antonio. And Mele makes a fantastic save here, guys. Anyway, here we are again. And it, West Ham, I won't lie, they did probably deserve this game. I mean, when I'm in live commentary, I was saying that I deserved it. But in reality, they did play very good football. We were just on the defensive quite a lot. They're passing it on the side here. Fredericks to uh, Kral. Uh, no, to Kral here. Kral is a little lacquer cat. It gets past my defender. Pass it to Ben, ben Rama, and it's a wonderful goal. There's nothing you can do about that. And anyway, guys, back to the actual live recording. Now, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of commentary, but here you go. I've gone up to this point, and I've just realised that I've literally... I've forgotten... I've forgotten... Uh, <laughs> I've... Forgotten, um, I've <laughs> I've got up this point that I haven't even been recording my voice, and that is really frustrating. So, uh, yeah, we're here, we're one nil down in West Ham. I will have it pre-recorded up until this point, though, so you guys will still be able to hear my voice, and I'll be commentating over it, and that would have been last episode as well, so, um, yeah, I uh, let, let's get back into it, live commentary from now onwards, because I'm a bit of an idiot. Uh, but yeah, here we are. I, I'm re I, This game is so frustrating, it really is. I am uh, one nil down against these guys, and I tell you right now, it's just it's getting it's grinding my gears. I'm getting really irritated because they're just keeping it in the rubber of the green, in my opinion. We've moved Harrison to the centre roll, as you can see, and uh, we can't pass it past one person, which is the thing that's really getting on my nerves. Can Dan James do anything here, though? How's that? I was going to say, how's that not a foul? Bro, this guy with an afro, I'm gonna buy him and release him. <laughs> and why is the camera changed all of a sudden? Did anybody else see that? Or is that just me? Oh, 
Bamford. Oh my god, can you not score with your right foot, you melon headed melon? Oh, bro, I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted, guys. I'm actually so tilted. I'm so annoyed. And if I don't have a reason to be annoyed, let me know, please. I'm just going to go straight into the Watford game because I want to absolutely dismantle them. I don't think anything important is going to happen. So, guys, I'll see you in the Watford game. Holy moly, I'm annoyed. As you can see, guys, I'm just going straight into the game. I, I literally have no no reason to just watch all the things, man. I, I really just want to proper dismantle Watford. Like, I want to beat them by a lot. <laughs> if possible. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I cannot be bothered! Maybe playing annoyed isn't the best idea. <laughs> First episode went out today, though, which is quite, quite cool. Um, I'm really annoyed. I know, I know. I've, done, what, I've never pre recorded a video before. This is my first time. Yo, this is where Watford are like the best team ever. Oh, bro, get away from me, man. It just irritates me when you can't pass. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Rafinha on the attack. Yes, let's go. That's one nil, one nil. Beautiful. Let's go. We we can't let the lead slide, but Rafinha has been a proper valuable player for this squad. Danny Rose, former Leeds player. I think he's Leeds Academy, if I'm correct. What a save! Oh, Lee, that would have been a goal. Oh, that'd have been nice. But again, like, I don't understand. I know that I've got assisted passing on, but like, you tap it and it does that shit. Nice. Oh, I have made one change this game, actually. I've uh, I've taken off Thurpon, put Dallas at left back. Just because Thurpo is really just not performing for me recently, so. What can Harrison do? It's another corner. <laughs> Oh no, we're good, we're good. Oh, we're good! Holy moly! <laughs> what a game. Le Leeds game, Eske. Eh? Did you see the Watford game? At least we I mean, I'm so happy Leeds finally got a point on the board, but... No! We're off the line, clearance! Did that just hit him off the back of the head? Bro, what is Bamford? These runs, man. He really is getting to me, like, he makes runs and he just runs into people. It makes, like, it's so irritating. Okay, this isn't good. Melier is the best keeper in this game, after Allison, of course, after that last episode. Oh my, what a rocket. I knew as soon as I gave him space. Let's watch this goal again. It was a beauty. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish. You need to really capitalise on your opportunities. Really have this game. It's a rocket and half that. Oh, bro, like, what is the point in the power pass if you can't get it past someone? King. Are you pissing me off or what, though, bro? Oh, piss off.
Let's go. Bro, what is that, man? <laughs> oh, the young lad. No, no words. <laughs> Another corner. Yes! Let's go! Diego Lorente! The man who scored against them in real life. You couldn't write it, ladies and gentlemen. You couldn't write it. Let's go. Looking for the overlap, I think. Yeah, beautiful. So close to create something there. Beautiful, let's go. And that's the win. <laughs> Holy moly. Two entertaining episodes there that I've recorded today. I'll tell you that much. Definitely deserve to win that though. And let's have a recap of the, the goals. This was Rafinha's goal, the first one. And just a simple run down the side, you know, shot across. Hits the keeper in the head, which is unfortunate. Uh, Melia makes a couple of saves. Rodrigo gets a no goal, which is... What's this? Oh, cleared off the line. That was holy moly. That I'm glad they've put that in, but that 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 wasn't it. That was Rodrigo Dallas off the line. Why is it saying Rodrigo no goal? But um, the the keepers were on form today, and then of of course Watford hit it with the beautiful out outside the box shot, which was a rocket. There's nothing you can do really about that. Um, and Diego Llorente wins it like he did in real life. With a nice header, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. I, I, that that is. Uh... I love to see it. Good old Joffy got brought off. You know, it was what it was, what it was, wasn't it? And uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh... sorry that I forgot to record my mic. I'm an absolute turnip, but yeah, we we do it anyway, and we're good. So uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, we are up in the standings now. We're in fourteenth. And next, I believe that we have, let's have a look, we've got Southampton, Wolves, and Norwich, and we'll record all of them in the next episode, we'll do all three, and then we've got a big game where we play Leicester and Tottenham. And yeah, we're. I think we're, how far are we, what month, we're in October, November, December, so we're a couple months away from the transfer window, we've got a few games to do, we might simulate a few here and there, but yeah, we are, we're doing well. And if you enjoyed the episode, guys, remember to sub hit the like button, hit the bell, notifications, all that good stuff, and leave a comment, let me know what you think, and let me know what I should improve on, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, bye!